Hey kids, I'm back again. Game number four, Slav Defense. This game was played by one of the strongest players that time, uh, Jeffy Bogolyubov. And um, I like the game because it is short and it, it, a lot of nice, good ideas here. So let's go into the game. Um, White plays d4. So we have this Slav Defense setup. Here we are, right, in 93. Now, in the theory that I explained you, I, I told you you have to take here on c4. Of course, you can play e6. That's that's possible, but that's different opening, right? Uh, now, just don't play bishop f5. That I see all the time in the chess games and uh, on the tournaments, you know, kids are losing the games because they play bishop f5. I explain you that in, in the theory. So you have to look at uh, the theory number one, two, or three, and you will understand why not. Now, pawn takes on c4, that's the correct move, right? Because um, because now you are um, you you don't allow this queen to, to go to b3, right? So white played bishop f4. In the theory, we studied a4, right? Or 95. Those are the two moves that we were looking at the theory. But bishop f4, right? Let's see this move. Now, when the bishop goes to f4, it's clear that this, this pawn can be protected now because if you don't play a4, then b5 is possible. So right now, black is pawn up. What can white get for this pawn? Let's see. Did he get enough, right? Um, this pawn on c4 um, um, is protected and uh, white now has to prove uh, was the reason he gave one pawn for free, right? You'll see in this game he couldn't prove that. A4, pawn goes to B4. Right here you just have to be careful, you know, because um, because this A4 wants to destroy your pawns, right? So, so black plays B4, attacks the knight, knight goes to A2, and attacks the, the pawn on B4, right? So remember this setup because it's going to happen... Um, it can happen in other uh, positions as well. So pawn goes to e6, and it's clear that black bishop now is protecting that pawn. So so black is saying, hey, look, I'm going to protect my pawns. Show me, prove me that, that you know, uh, was the reason you, you gave the pawn for free, right? So pawn goes to e3. Now he wants to, to capture on... Uh, on c4 and black is like oh no bishop a6 look at that cool move now we don't have a regular slav defense where you go with the bishop to f5 but here black is protecting his powerful pawns on c4 and b4 knight d2 <laughs> look white wants to capture this pawn and black is hey no <laughs> queen d5 so he, he doesn't doesn't allow him to take that pawn right so queen c1 is <laughs> like, okay, I want to capture this pawn back. And um, now black cannot protect that pawn anymore, right? You see, it's, it's, it's not possible, but black pushes the pawn forward. And pawn takes, and of course now he um, uh, doesn't take that pawn back on c3, right? Because the knight would get into the game, right? But what he does, he trades first here, and uh, now white is gonna lose uh, the castling opportunity, right? Now, you will see, this was not good for white at all because he got checkmated on the end on the back rank. Rook is not playing. See, that's one of the reasons you have to make a castling because Rook needs to get into the game. So the, the cooperation between the white pieces is kind of damaged. So now B3, this is an important move, right? Suddenly this knight on A2 is in trouble, right? So C4 and queen runs away. So now white has to move the knight, right? He moves the knight to C3 and check, queen D3, check. King g1, look at this, kind of uh, bad position for, uh, for uh, 
uh, a rook on h1, right? Rook is really not in a good place. And um, I also have to say that that this black queen on d3 is very unpleasant. I look at it, she kind of sneaking around, you know, wants to do some damage. The bishop can go to b4, right? And then castling can happen. So bishop b4 and uh, knight b1. Look, if the white has to play this way, it cannot be good, right? I hope you agree with me because look, the, 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 the white pieces are moving backwards, right? Knight goes to e4. Right, but at the same time, black is moving with the pieces forward. Knight takes and b2, final trick. Right. Now, what can white do? Because black is about to take another queen on a1, capturing the rook and taking the queen. So he captured and checkmate. Right? So that's, that's the game uh, that we studied um, 18 moves gap. Let's see what are the most important moves here. First, I think we are in this position. When you get to this Slav defense position, take on c4. Right, that's the first thing. Now, we always studied the moves like a4, right? That would stop b5 or 95 that would capture on c4. But uh, we did not like in a theory i did not talk about the moves like this where you can uh, actually protect your pawn and this is a nice game that explains what's wrong with those moves right because when you are pawn up and just remember those ideas look protecting protecting your pawn protecting your pawn look at this move bringing the queen into the game protecting the pawn and then this this idea of uh pushing the pawn and then playing b3 right this is really cool that destroy the king castling and then b3 i think uh, if you would remember something like this you would probably win your games right there there are no good moves here for uh for white side queen f5 and queen goes bad position for a for a white king and problems on uh Problems on the back rank, right? So this is, um, you know, it's interesting. Um, here, the the black played ninety four, but this is move. This move is also very cool. Queen c two, good move attacking the queen, and the trade is not possible for uh, uh, for um, for the white because he's losing. A, a piece right so let's say you take and uh pawn takes you are threatening to take a queen or you are threatening to uh to take the knight so that was probably better op option for uh for black but 94 is um, also a fantastic move because uh with this move uh, i mean this trick is excellent right b2 because it's taking uh taking the rook on a1 or, or checkmate. Very nice. Okay. Now, if you feel like uh, you want to test your memory, go to the guess, guess the move right here. Game number four, guess the move. And just try. See see if you can remember the moves. If you can, can't remember all of them, it's, it's okay. You know, it's, it's not a problem. Um, it's just try for fun, you know, to enjoy yourself a little bit. Um, Okay, I'll see you in our next game, uh, the game number five.